Everybody knows that Donald Trump hates the media with the exception of Fox news, of course, but he hates the media because they're always so darn mean to him. And he makes sure that anytime he gets his little bitty feelings hurt by the media, that he gets on Twitter and attacks them and lets us all know how sad and depressed he truly is that the media is not being nice to him because he hasn't done anything worthy of being nice about. So yesterday on Twitter, Donald Trump came up with the brilliant idea Maybe we should just create a state run propaganda outlet to show the world how great Donald Trump truly is. Here is what Donald Trump tweeted over a series of tweets. While CNN doesn't do great in the United States based on ratings, outside of the US, they have very little competition. Throughout the world, CNN has a powerful voice portraying the United States in an unfair and false way. Something has to be done, including the possibility of the United States starting our own worldwide network to show the world the way we really are. Great. Um, okay, first and foremost, aside from this being a ridiculously stupid idea, there actually already is a state-run media outlet. It's called Voice of America. Uh, the government funds it to the tune of about $220 million every single year. So we already have what you're talking about, Donald Trump. The problem is their coverage of you is also not completely, uh, you know, great. Why? Because they're talking about what's actually happening in this country. So if you wanted to start a different worldwide network, as you call it, to show the United, uh, the rest of the world, actually, how great the United States is, what are you going to talk about? Are you going to talk about the fact that we have people who are dying because they can't afford prescription drugs, people who are being given rejection letters because they can't afford a, a organ transplant, uh, people in Alabama living in what the UN has called extreme poverty on fewer than $4 per day. You're going to show them all of the, uh, homeless veterans that we have that all the administrations in recent years have just kind of turned their back on. You're going to show them images of us border agents gassing children. Is that what makes America great? Are you going to show them footage of the Georgia election where the Republican literally stole the election from Stacey Abrams. You're going to show them that. What are you going to show them, Donald? You're going to show them the fact that you're still out there riling up these disgusting human beings in your rally who are chanting lock her up while ignoring the fact that your very own daughter and many other members of your administration did the exact same thing that you want Hillary Clinton locked up for. Is that what you're going to show them? What exactly do you want your worldwide network to show Donald? Tell us, tell us what this programming is going to be. Because I can promise you, if you want to show the rest of the world, what America is really like, all it's going to do is lower their opinion of us here in the United States. We are running out of things to be proud of right now. Again, people are dying because they can't afford their prescription drugs. We have an administration, you, Mr. Trump, who says that climate change doesn't exist. We have Republicans in Congress who, in spite of the massive climate change report, we just got say it doesn't exist. You are out there insulting the state of California after they suffered the deadliest wildfire in the state's history. You neglected Puerto Rico after hurricane Maria just left them to die. You're pretty much doing the same thing to all the other hurricanes that have hit along the coast. Luckily here, we've had enough good citizens come forward and volunteer their time and efforts and money to help rebuild the areas in the United States hit by hurricanes. A lot of those actually came from NFL sports teams, which you claim to hate so much. They're the ones out there doing real work. You know, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Houston Texans with JJ Watt after Harvey, uh, you got the Carolina Panthers after the hurricane struck up there this year, they're out there helping people. What are you doing? You're playing golf. You're ignoring problems. You have a horrible disaster response on hand, ready to go anytime something bad happens in this country. So you don't really want the rest of the world to see what all of us here in the United States are seeing every single day, because I can promise you if they truly understood what was happening here, they would hate us even more than they already do.